All right, welcome back to BT Snapchat with a magazine now, yeah. but online. It's online. very cool. It's an online yeah. magazine. Are you a Snapchat user? I am not a Snapchat. Don't tell anybody. It's I'm okay. not a Snapchat. We'll get you on I'm Snapchat. Not cool. <laughs> I'm not cool. I don't well, know. Snapchat, uh, you know, a very popular platform right now, not yeah. just with kids, but a lot of people are jumping on board. And Snapchat really trying to uh, evolve their business model uh, mm -hmm. to bring in advertisements. So you're going to be yeah. seeing more advertisements on Snapchat coming up. Uh, but they're doing more stories, and they're partnering with a lot of media brands. And the latest thing with Snapchat is they're coming out with an online magazine called Real Life. This is coming out on June 27th. And what this is, it, it plays on the social media theory that uh, what happens in real life happens on social media. So they're going to be curating things uh, that come from people's stories to highlight everything from uh, technology to beauty to fashion. So all aspects of life. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you'll be able to go onto their website, which I believe is uh, reallifemag.com, mm -hmm. and uh, be able to scroll through. So it's, it's basically an online blog that Snapchat uh, will be heading up uh, natively within their uh, head offices. So okay. uh, it'll be really cool. It's coming soon. It's called Real Life. And they're pulling it straight from people's Snapchat feeds, right? Yeah, so it's going to be the People's Magazine right. because it will be content curated from within people's Snapchat feeds. Very cool. Uh, if you're a Google user, uh, there's a really cool feature that the, the tech blogs are all about right mm -hmm. now. And what this is, it will it'll now suggest times when you will be free. So if you get an email from someone saying, hey, let's meet up tomorrow for lunch, Google will now go through and recommend times that you'd be potentially free, yeah. and you'll be able to select, hey, I'm free tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, and you can select it and book that appointment. So really cool, smart technology. Right, and now it's it's really telling you what to do rather than you just going through it. I'd be free that. a lot. I feel like it would be tired of telling me when I'm free. I feel like <laughs> me too. I, I'm free pretty much throughout the me day. Me too. But yeah, so that's a lot though. Tell, I, 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 yeah. I don't know about that because you, you could be able to look at your calendar and say, well, I'm free on this day. And, but, and I guess some people also need some help. So hopefully yeah. this will help a few people out there. Now speaking of yeah. smart technology, yeah. uh, one thing's really cool. Uh, and I was checking this out over the weekend. The shopping channel, um, you know, I, I can spend hours watching the shopping channel. It's actually addictive. It's addictive. It's cool. um, but uh, the shopping channel now has a new app on the Apple TV. Yeah. And I downloaded this on my Apple TV over the weekend. And what it allow, uh, allow you to do is not only watch the show, mm -hmm. but you can scroll through on your Apple TV and you can buy stuff right from your TV. It, ah. and, and it's, I'm not going to lie, I, I bought something <laughs> I on the weekend. Say, it might be dangerous. It, it, it gets quite dangerous because yeah. it's right there and it's, it's quite tempting. But uh, just another example on a yeah. larger picture on how um, e-commerce has really blown up, not just from your smartphone and your computer, but now it's making its way onto your television. Wow. So it's making it a lot easier to spend money. Yeah. For some, that might be dangerous. For others, it's a convenience. So yeah. it's all good. So if you're a fan of the shopping channel, and I know many people are out yes. there are fans, yes. uh, download it and check it out if you have an Apple TV and uh, watch your wallet.